What's going on, y'all? It's Darian. And in this video, I actually want to talk about how I prepare for product manager interviews. You know, every role in tech is very different, and I feel like the interview process is super different. So on this channel, I've talked about in the past, you know, being a software engineer, I talked about a lot of technical interview processes and how you prepare for those and what my experiences were with those. But in this one, I want to talk about, since I've transitioned to product management, how that is different than technical interviews and some of the things that I like to do to actually research before going into a product management interview. The first one is kind of a generic piece of advice that would probably be good to do for any job, any industry, which is really just research the company history, research the product more specifically, since you're doing product management. And like things I like to know about the company are like, how long have they been in business? You know, you want to know what is the product? What market do they compete in? What makes their product unique? What makes them interesting? What makes them better than their competitors? You know, because you want to have an idea of where they fit in the market right like how competitive are they really because that's really going to determine i mean what your life is like as a product person you're going to be responsible for really evolving that product and making it competitive in the space or finding better ways to make it competitive so you really want to know what they built so far and you know why it's considered valuable in the market if it is yeah i also like to look at the org chart because you never know who's in what positions and you know, you might not be able to find an org chart all the time, but I like to just get an idea of who's in what roles, who's in the director, who's in director roles, who's in the upper leadership or executive leadership. And then, you know, if I can find people who are in the product team, you know, I'll try to find them on LinkedIn or just kind of get a overview of what their background is and things like that. So just doing some company and product research would be super helpful you know before you go into an interview with any company in a product role so the next part is kind of in line with that but it's really just like researching the market and specifically you know like i said looking at the competitors so after you do the due diligence on the company you're potentially going to be applying for or interviewing with then you want to find out like i said where they fit in the space so you want to learn as much as you can about you know all their competitors what makes their competitors better than them? You know, what do they do that the competitors aren't doing, vice versa? So you really want to be, you know, you don't have to spend too much time doing it, but you want to at least be aware of, you know, some of the market trends for that industry or, you know, at least in the product world, like what is already out there being done that they either can aspire to do better or how you can kind of make what they currently have, you know, in their product offering a more like first in class product offering. So you want to do that by looking at market competition and really just understanding other companies in that space. The next thing I like to do is read reviews. And this could be from Glassdoor, LinkedIn, Google, it doesn't really matter, but read as many reviews as you can, you know, whether it's reviews of the product itself, reviews, especially of the company or the interviewing process. Uh, that's why Glassdoor is great because a lot of times you can find people describing their like interview experience or even better if they worked at the company, what it was like working there. You know, you can find out a lot about company culture this way by reading through the reviews and what other people have to say. So I think it's just a great way to kind of find out those things that might not be obvious on the company homepage or on the about page or things that aren't as easy to find out about, like about the company culture, you know, what are training and growth opportunities like. So reading reviews on a company can be really good. Like I said, even if it's just like Google reviews on the product itself, it, it can tell you a lot about, you know, what is their customer support like, you know, do they respond quickly to, you know, customer complaints or issues, problems with the product? How do they handle those things? How do they manage their online image and reputation? So there's just a lot you can learn from just reading reviews and just really deep diving on that. So I would highly recommend doing that before you go to any interview. I mean, honestly, for any job, but specifically product management. So the next one I was going to say was actually research the people that you're going to be interviewing with. So in the earlier rounds, it might not be as important if you're just dealing with like HR or kind of just doing those first get to know you interviews. But as you progress through a lot of these, you know, roles have multiple interview processes or phases. So as you continue through the process and you figure out, okay, I'm meeting with this person on Thursday and then this person the following week or whatever, do your due diligence on finding out who those people are, you know, uh, find them on LinkedIn if possible. And, you know, read through, read through their profile, read through their previous work experience, read through their volunteer experiences and try to find things that, you know, might become 
talking points during the interview or things that you might be able to kind of align yourself with or align your experience with that that person might care about or be looking for. This could be like initiatives they worked on in the past or like things they volunteered for, you know, things that they really care about that mean a lot to them, causes, movements, whatever, organizations. So, you know, all those things are great, but then also look at, you know, what they might be looking for in a team member or a coworker or whatever it is, you know, they might be a very entrepreneurial, you know, self-starter type of person, and they might be looking for that in somebody that they hire. So if you're going to be interviewing with that person, you know, these might be questions you want to kind of like take note of or be sure to ask, or, you know, like I said, you can just kind of align yourself better for the interview and prepare yourself better when you know a little bit about the person you're going to be talking to. So you're not trying to, you know, find those things out on the call per se, but you can kind of allude to some of the things that you've already kind of researched without being weird, of course. And then you can tailor your experiences to things that you know that they care about or that they might be looking for, which I think can really help you stand out, you know, from the crowd in the interviewing phase. I think all these could be kind of considered for any sort of job in any industry, but I think it's very important to always have follow-up questions because there's usually time at the end where the interviewer will always ask you if you have questions for them. And an even if you don't really, you know, have major pressing questions, I do think it goes a long way in just showing that you care, that you're kind of intrigued, you're curious, you want to know more about the company. It's also a good opportunity for you to show what you've already learned, what you've already researched, and to kind of like dive into those nuanced things that might be harder to find, like I said, on the about section of a company website or find through Google reviews and things like that. So just having a few of those questions that you might get from looking at people's profiles that you're interviewing with, right? Or like doing that research on the company, you will start to come up with questions that you want to know the answer to specifically for your goals, your career, things you care about. So I think just having three to five questions already written down or in the back of your mind, just prepared going into the interview is always good. So that when that time comes up in the interview process, it's nothing for you to kind of just refer to whatever the most important questions are on your list. Maybe you don't ask all three or all five of them, but again, just being prepared for that part of the interview and then having that sort of professionalism to show that you're intrigued by the opportunity, by the company, and you have done your research and you do have questions and things you wanted to know more about. So I think those are my, my main tips that are really helpful for any sort of like getting ready for product management interviews or roles like that. But I think these also apply to pretty much any role, job interview in any industry. So let me know if I missed anything down in the comment section below. Let me know if y'all found this helpful and I'll see y'all next video.